Hi, I'm Keith from Lanza Grooves. And today what we're gonna talk about are duty rated flashlights. Uh, we're gonna cover a bunch of different things, but what we wanna look at is which flashlights are actually capable to provide proper service for you, uh, whether you're a non-duty police officer, a fireman, or you have a business where you uh, often need, like a tow truck driver, you need a severe duty rated flashlight. We're gonna cover a bunch of them right here. A lot of these um, have been in service and I've worn them out or times have changed, but we're gonna start by covering some of the lights, what their power sources are, what their lumen output, and importantly, what kind of candela they have, because candela directly affects your lumen rating and how much light it's really projecting. So let's start with uh, some of the smaller ones and we'll work our way up, okay? This is a just a little pocket light from Olight that I think I got. It's called the 5T. And uh, it, it, I think it's 180 lumen. It has two settings, light and uh, dim. But really, this is good for if you're working uh, with your hands and you're doing something, you can clip it on your shirt. And it's just a great little, I think, double or triple A battery powered flashlight. It's good to have uh, on your person when you don't want something extremely bright because the light actually reflects back to you in dark areas and if you have a shiny surface. So it's good to have these little lights. Let's move on to this one here. This is the Streamlight ProTac 90X 90 degree angle light. Um, and the button is on the top of it and it is a phenomenal little light. It has clips that come with it or clipping on your uniform, clipping on your shirt, clipping on your waist belt or your waistband. But we'll go inside and take a look. It has great rubber seal on it. This light I've been using for probably a year now. It uses the SLB26 rechargeable battery. Um, it has phenomenal run time. Uh, it's great for standby. This is another one of my backup lights at night. Um, I work all night long. So these are phenomenal for charging on the fly. I've never had any issues with water or condensation appearing in the lenses. And uh, we'll cover the stats real quick on this. This is a thousand lumen and at full power, it runs 1.75 hours. Streamlight does not disclose, I could not find on their website what the candela rating is on it, but it's good to um, note that it's probably the reason why it's not listed. So, but it is a very compact light, aluminum body, um, very well built. Let's move on to one of, one of my old flashlights. This was the uh, Streamlight Stinger, and this is the classic, what they call the classic version now. They make several different versions of it. But this uh, Stinger Classic was 500 lumens and at full power it ran 2.75 hours. This had a charging base, which uh, some people uh, don't really care for because uh, you have to attach it somewhere in your home or in your vehicle to make sure it charges and need two, two charging points on the back when it locks into a base. Um, it does a good job. It charges relatively quickly. It's well built. This is that aircraft grade aluminum. No issues with the seals. It has many miles on it, but I will say that as you can see, the switch here, the button, uh, is worn through from turning it on and off so many times. So it, uh, it has seen better days. This was the newer version of this, which they improved the lens a little bit. I think this is just the Stinger LED. And uh, this, this one uh, was an upgrade and uh, it, it, its brightness was a little bit better but still for its size, I thought we could do better. So I no longer use this light. What it was replaced with was, this is the uh, Streamlight 10 tap programmable. This is the ProTac HL USB. So we'll cover that because one of the reasons I like this light is a lot of these lights on the table to charge them, either you have to use a base or you have to physically take the battery out. And I'll show that in a second. This one here has a hood around the top of it that has a rubber seal. When you pull it down, there is a mini USB you can charge right here and it charges the battery inside of it. I think it's very user friendly. It's really easy to use and you don't have to have a base. You don't have to have any cords or things you bring with you everywhere. The light is what you need, that and a short cord. That's it, that's all you need. This one here um, is the ProTac HL. And let me see here. Uh, this is a thousand lumen. Uh, 1.25 hours of runtime on full power with 12,000 candela. Now that doesn't sound a lot compared to some of these other lights that are going to come up, but this, this actually has the glass breaker on the front and rear. I have had to replace the rear cap. Uh, no fault of stream lights. Uh, it would have been my fault because I was uh, forcing um, a window open. So uh, 
you know, it had to be replaced. But it was easy to get parts. You could find it anywhere online. It's just a rubber tail cap. It works great, nice and bright. But uh, so this one has been a great light. This is the uh, Protec HL USB by Streamline. Let's see here. Let's cover this one here. This is a Surefire. The, this is the Fury IntelliBeam. This one here is really interesting because it has what it actually has a sensor inside the front of it. And inside the front, it actually, uh, as you get closer to an object, and I'll show you here on camera, hopefully you'll pick it up. But as it gets brighter, it begins to dim down. And it senses how close it is to an object and how much light it needs. Now, I know it's a little bit of an upgrade, and these are pricey little flashlights. However, when you need it, it kind of eliminates the need for some other flashlights. Because if I had it on a high setting and you try to bring it in, you can't see anything. It begins to blind you. So instead of having to have two or three flashlights, this one here can do the job of several flashlights. And that's always nice. The only downside to this one is, is to charge it, you actually physically have to take it apart. Unlike this one here, which is the, uh, like I said, we just covered it, the uh, ProTac HL USB. That one is, is really nice because it has that charging cord. This one here, you physically have to remove the battery and charge the battery. And then when you get ready to go back to work, remember to put it back together, put the tail cap on and tighten it back up. And once you do that, it's ready to go. But you do have to disassemble it, which, uh, you know, if you run out and forget to put the battery in or drop the tail cap behind the cabinet, then you got, you got some issues. So that was the one thing nice about this. So the Surefire is uh, putting out 1500 lumen at 2,500, 25,000 and 200 candela. So this, all it says is it has up to 40 hours of runtime. That's obviously not at full power. So um, I like this one. I like it because it's adjustable and it's a smart a flashlight, uh, but it is very pricey because there's two different versions. I think there's the Fury and Fury IntelliBeam is the higher price one as well. So great flashlight, very compact, made of aluminum, very well built, but it is pricey. I do recommend this one if you're willing to spend the money. I also recommend this USB, uh, ProTac HL USB. Uh, it's a little more affordable, but uh, for ease of use, it does have that uh, hood that covers the charging port. So let's move on here. Um, this is one of the latest additions that I purchased. This is the ProTac HL5-X. And this one here is, uh, it's a mouthful. It's kind of heavy, but it does. it's built very well. This is the Streamlight. Uh, it has a glass breaker on the front and on the rear. It comes with the handle. Uh, this Streamlight here is 3,500 lumen in 51,000 candela. It is a phenomenal light on full power. It has a 1.25 hour runtime. Um, this light here, I highly recommend. If you have the space, wherever you're carrying it, to carry something with this size, it's phenomenal. It does have a very wide, uh, the head on it is very large, but it is all aircraft grade, grade aluminum, so if you need to use it as an impact weapon, it will come in very handy. It is a little bit heavy, although. Check your specs on it before you're gonna buy it, and this one here is pricey as well, but it is a phenomenal light. If you're in wide open fields and open country, this is a great light, all right? Um, this one here has it set up on it to where when you charge it, it uses two of the um, USB, mini USB charger batteries in it. So you have to take them out and you have to charge them and it comes with a dual port setup. These are the, uh, the same SLB26 that you have to charge. So you have to charge them both overnight. Remember, before you leave, you have to put them back in the flashlight. That sounds, sounds silly, but you know, you're in a big hurry to go to work and if you put the tail cap back on, you run out of the house and uh, you don't have any batteries in it. So make sure you do that and uh, you know, it's ready to, ready to go for, for work. So this one here is a great light. It's just a, a little larger um, than most people want to carry in their, in their vehicle or in their purse, but it does take a little bit of space. I really like it. Let's move on to some of the ones that uh, I've used in the past and I've purchased multiple times because I've worn them out. And that's, that's, uh, that says something. This is the Streamlight SL20L. And this one has a, a company called Bust the Cap. This is for breaking windows. So basically you just put it up against the corner of a window and you pop it and it breaks the glass. This one here literally has been a phenomenal light. Uh, its lumen output is not what you would really uh, call a high level. I think this one here is uh, 450 lumen, but its candela is 70,000. 
So for its size and being uh, almost looking like a traditional mag light, it really is a really functional light for someone who has to, for part of their job, has to use a very bright flashlight. This is a phenomenal light, and I know the numbers sound low, 450 lumen, but trust me, this light project, this flashlight projects enough light to light up an entire street. Not as bright as the um, this one here, the new Streamlight Protect HL5X, but uh, the cost difference is night and day. I believe this costs about half of what that will cost. And if you want to buy the glass breaker, it's really easy to get. Just make sure when you order from Bust the Cap, you let them know it has a rechargeable battery in it, not D or C cell batteries. So this one here is uh, got some miles on it. I also too wore out Streamlight's button. I had to replace it, so that got replaced. Um, and it's been a great light. It's definitely got some wear and tear on it, but it is still serviceable. I liked it so much that I actually bought a brand new one here and we'll be doing an unboxing of this brand new version of this SL20L. All right, and the next one is, let's see here, the Maglite. This is the ML150LR. This is basically what you would consider a C size rechargeable, not a D size like this one. So uh, it's a little thinner and a little easier to, to carry. However, if you're planning on using this as an impact weapon, it kind of doesn't have a whole lot of uh, area or force behind it. So let's run down this. This is a 1,082 lumen. It is very bright and I, I like it a lot. Um, and 52,000 candela. So it is a very bright light if you're looking for something more compact, but uh, not as bright as say the, or expensive as the, the stream light. This one here is the HL5X, or if you just don't want one as big as the 20 um, SL20L, then this uh, mag light is phenomenal. It is an ML150LR. This has the rechargeable base as well. It snaps into like a uh, charging port and it charges through this uh, ring, this aluminum ring. Uh, it's really easy to use and Busta Cat makes the uh, glass breakers for it. And by the way, I'm not, not sponsored by any manufacturer on this table. Not bust the cap, not streamlight, not mag light anybody. So this is just a, one review of a, of a person who's used all these lights you see on the table and used them for work and seen how they perform. So covering that, this ML150LR, it is a phenomenal light if you're looking, like I said, for size. Um, it, it is awesome to be made, being as a mag light. It is the, the service rating on it is phenomenal. It's a great piece of equipment, and if you need to get replacement parts, Maglite is just an excellent company to deal with as well as Streamlight. So uh, I would highly recommend this ML150LR. Um, I think the price on it, they have sales every now and then. I want to say it's like, uh, I think I have the receipt here. We'll be doing an open box on this one as well. Let's see, Let's see what it costs. I think with the shipping, it was like $127. So not really bad for what you're getting. You're getting a light that would be uh, serviceable for years to come. And uh, you can see the picture of the charging port. Here's the charging station right there and how it looks. Uh, this is a great flashlight. Um, again, it has the base that you have to charge. But uh, I would certainly consider it uh, as one of my serviceable lights. So to sum up this, this uh, quick overview of uh, I'd say service and stream duty rated police or tactical flashlights. Uh, the older versions, the Stingers, I would say would be off the table because even the newer updated versions of them, they're just kind of an awkward size. Um, this one here is super bright. This Protac 5L, I'm sorry, it's uh, HL5X is phenomenal, but it is kind of big. If you're looking for like the old kind of nightstick flashlight, the old three or four D-cell mag, this Streamlight SL20 is a great option. Um, it really holds its charge for weeks on end. Great, great uh, piece of equipment. And as if you want something more compact, this uh, one, one ML150LR is one of my favorites. Just uh, keep in mind that it will not work as an impact weapon. It can, but not very well. So if you can get your hands on one of these uh, Protac HL USBs, I'd say for the average person, who doesn't need an oversized flashlight or uh, gonna be using it for breaking windows or prying things open, uh, this particular uh, Streamlight Protac HLUSB is a great option. Um, ease of use, the charging, you don't have to have any sort of accessories. It's a great piece of equipment. 
And if you're willing to spend the extra money, this IntelliBeam, Fury IntelliBeam from Streamlight, is a great flashlight. I really like this one a lot. It's just very pricey. All right, well, that covered all the flashlights on the table here. I want to thank you for your time. This is Keith from Lands and Grooves. Thank you so much.